Hi beauties, welcome to my channel and to another faves and flops video. Another month has come and go. Can you believe that? It's spring. Yay, spring has sprung. I can't wait. I'm going to share with you some things that I have been loving throughout the month of March, either things that I have always loved or new things I found. I also have some things I didn't like as much and I am not going to sugarcoat anything. I'm going to let you guys know where to spend your money and where to save it. With that, I'm not planning on wasting any time on this intro, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos and cue the intro. I know I look absolutely I like to start with something positive. I'm going to mix the flops in with the flaves. Fla <laughs> Flav of flaves in the house. No, sorry. I'm going to mix the flops in with the faves just because I like switching back and forth because then I don't have to spend like a large chunk of time on things I don't like that. I don't know. That's just how I like to do it. Also, if you are enjoying this makeup look that I have on here, be subscribed, stay tuned to my channel because this will be coming in the next couple of weeks. I did a full face of TJ Maxx makeup and that's what you are looking at right now. But back to the faves. This was something I got in my spring FabFitFun box. If you want to take a look, click this card here. But this is the Grown Alchemist Body Cream. This is a nice big bottle for Grown Alchemist and it smells amazing to me. Disclaimer, it is florally. If you don't like floral, you're probably not going to like anything grown alchemist, but A, I love the little kind of like paint tubes. It's just a fun concept. And B, since this is going to squirt out at me, I might as well use some. It, oh my gosh, it just gets me in the mood for spring. Like it smells so good and it is really, really good cream. Whether you just use it as a hand cream or over your whole body, that is what I have been using it for is a body cream when I'm out of the shower. It is really good. It is hydrating and it is long lasting. I was getting ready for this video a couple days ago, like pulling the products I was going to use and I went to smell it again and like that a little bit came out. So I rubbed it on my hands and literally the entire rest of the afternoon, I was like, oh, my hands feel so good. So it, it really has a lot of staying power. I love this and I, this is one that I will be very sad when it is gone. Okay. Since we did a body cream for the faves, I have to share a body cream for the flops. This is the French Vanilla Frida and Joe Body Lotion. And now you probably aren't familiar with Frida and Joe. So this is more of a kind of rant about the concept of this rather than the actual brand. So firstly, again, another disclaimer. This was given to me as a gift. If the person that gave this to me is watching this video, please. I love you. Thank you for the gift. I did use the entire set. But this was a gift set from, I believe, Bed Bath & Beyond. And unfortunately... This body lotion just was kind of awful. Like half an hour after putting it on, my skin would be kind of itchy or it just wouldn't be hydrated and I'd have to go in with something over it. So the reason I'm including this as a flop, I wouldn't normally include like no name brands that you wouldn't even recognize. But the reason I'm including it is just to say, if you're gonna purchase like a gift set for Christmas, birthday, anniversary or whatever, I would stray away from Bed Bath & Beyond. I, I went back and looked on their site and I didn't recognize most of the brands. I would get it from the body shop or even Bath & Body Works. They have really decent gift sets that you know are going to be quality that are still very affordable. So that is my recommendation to you because this had a few products in it. It had like a shower gel and some bath salts and some bath bombs and it was kind of all terrible. So A, I would stray away from Frida and Joe if you are looking at them in general, but maybe gift sets from Bed Bath & Beyond aren't the greatest if you don't know the name brand. If you can find some on their site that you recognize the brand and are well-reviewed, I'd go for it, but this just, this just wasn't, it wasn't good. All right, so we have one hair care item today and it is a fave for sure. That is the Revlon One Step Styler. Sorry as the cord like attacks me, but... I got this recently from Amazon a month or two ago. To be honest, I did a video testing it here and I love it. It gives me, not right now because I purposely made it straight, but it gives me kind of that blowout look from the salon that you're looking for. But I'm really bad at using like a hair dryer with a round brush and doing it like that. So this, I can just run it through my hair. It is just as quick as using a normal hair dryer, if not faster. 
and it gives me silky, shiny, beautiful hair. So watch that video if you want to see this in action. But this, especially for the price, and I got it on discount. I think I got it for like $30 or $40, but I think full price it's like $60. It is absolutely worth it. I use it basically every other day. Every every time I wash my hair, I use this to dry it. So really, really good tool, especially if you're like me and not phenomenal at doing hair. This is going to be a lifesaver for you too. Okay, let's go into some skincare that I really liked. Firstly, this is a sample, but this is the Bye Bye Under Eye Eye Cream from It Cosmetics. And I got this as a deluxe sample. I actually have two of these. So this is the first one. There's still a little bit in there. It is almost gone, but I'm gonna go straight into the next one because I really, really liked this. And what I found was I liked this as a night under eye cream because it's really thick and heavy. You could wear it in the morning. I would probably just use a little bit less, but I have very much been enjoying it as a thick, heavy night eye cream um, to keep my eyes moisturized. I wake up with nice, that like they're not puffy and red and, you know, dark in the morning. And I think this has something to do with it. I also, I really like the smell. It's, it's a very mild smell. You don't want your facial skincare to be overly scented. But what is there I really, really enjoy. So I hadn't used this specific one from It Cosmetics before, the Bye Bye Under Eye. And I I really liked it. This is probably one that I would repurchase. All right, nextly is the JJ Young Pore Perfecting Multi Cream. If you're not familiar with JJ Young, JJ Young is a Korean skincare brand. So it's a K-beauty line. And they do sell them at TJ Maxx. I will have to take a look and see. If so, I will link it below. Um, but I'll have to take a look and see if this is still available at TJ Maxx or you could just buy it on JJ Young's website. But this is a toner, essence, and a cream all in one. So it's a morning kind of one-stop shop when you're getting ready. Now, I use it as my moisturizer. So I still use a toner and then I use this and I still use a primer. But on days where I'm in a hurry or on days where I'm running late, I will skip toner, I will skip primer and just use this. I actually did a five minute makeup face video quite a while ago. And I used this as all those steps and my makeup turned out really well. Um, it's very lightweight. The reason I'm including it in my March video and that I pulled it out recently is because of how lightweight it is. My face still feels very moisturized, but it doesn't feel heavy. It, it doesn't weigh me down at all. And then I can put makeup right on over it. It dries really fast. Um, so going into spring and then for summer, I really enjoy this, especially if you're not someone to wear kind of a normal makeup primer. This would be a really good moisturizer option for you because then it's already doing kind of that job for you. So you don't even have to worry about the primer. It's time for another flop. If you have been watching my faves and flops series, I have reviewed a makeup remover. I think the last like three months at least. I, I go through them a lot and I have apparently either loved or hated the ones I've been using recently. So the one I pulled out is the Skin & Co Truffle Therapy Whipped Cleansing Cream. Now I have used Skin & Co products before. I think they are very good products. They're not my favorite smell, the kind of truffle smell. You, ha you have to just have had something from this line to kind of know what it smells like. I don't know how to describe it. Um, but I don't like this whipped cleansing cream. So I use this as the first step in my double cleanse routine, meaning this is like my makeup remover. And then once that's done, I'll go back in with a normal just cleanser to cleanse my skin. So the concept here is you put this on dry skin and you rub it in to rub all your makeup off. Then you go back in with water to keep rubbing it and then wipe it all away. Once that's done, I still feel like there's residue. And I don't think there should be. Now, it's not the end of the world because, again, since I'm double cleansing, I go back in with a cleanser and it washes this off. But I don't feel like it should have to. Right? My second cleanse shouldn't have to wash off the cleanser from the first cleanse. It should only have to wash my skin. So I don't know why this feels heavy. I don't like the consistency. Maybe it's the whipped cleansing cream. I have heard other people say that they don't like this, but they liked the cleansing oil from this line. So I might have to try the other one out. I will give it a chance. I will still use this. It's not making my skin break out. It's, it's not awful. It does take my makeup off, but it's not my favorite. I certainly will not ever use it again. Okay, let's get into some makeup because that's the fun part. The first one is actually a setting spray. Unpopular opinion alert. I have heard a lot of people say they don't like this product. So I also might have reviewed this product like months ago in one of these videos. And if I did, I'm sorry if you remember that. But 
This is the Kula setting spray. Um, Kula is a line of a lot of facial and body sunscreens that I, I very much enjoy. I've used their products for years and I haven't yet found one I don't like. Um, this is an SPF 30 setting spray. Um, now, a lot of people don't like this because they feel like it smells like a sunscreen. It's a sunscreen. I don't mind that it kind of smells like a sunscreen. Um, it contains 70% plus organic ingredients. And I, I don't know, I like just that extra step of additional sunscreen. I very, very much like the mister on this. I don't know if you can tell, but this is a glass bottle. And I like the kind of, um, what is, what is this type of glass called? It's not opaque, but it's not clear. There's a word for this that I cannot think of right now. So whoever thinks of it before I do, please write it in the comments for me. But I really like it. It looks pretty sitting out on my vanity. My, set, my setting sprays sit over here, if you can see. So I like when it's aesthetically pleasing. And again, I kind of like the smell. It reminds me of summer. It reminds me of the beach. So that's that's just me. But I will repurchase this. I also have seen this on clearance at TJ Maxx quite a bit. So if you're looking for Kula products, take a look at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. And you might be able to snag some there. Okay, before I finish my makeup faves. Let's jump into the flops. I got this at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. Again, I'm sorry I talk about TJ Maxx in all my videos, but I really am a stand for TJ Maxx. Um, this is a billion dollar brows pencil. You can't even tell because the logoing kind of rubbed off, which it's kind of annoying to me because I haven't had that all that long and I haven't used it all that much. So it shouldn't be. I did lose the cap. So it's it should have a cap on both ends. I, I don't know what happened to it. Something ate it. But um, the reason I don't like this, it says it is a universal brow pencil. Does that look like your shade? If you said no, then it's not a universal brow pencil. Many of you probably said yes. I would say yes. I have this in my brows right now. So it doesn't do a terrible job. And it does match a lot of people, but it's not universal. I really, really, in the makeup industry, wish we could get away from saying universal brow pencil. For some reason, they're making products like like we want that. But I, if I go to the store, I don't mind picking my color. And then it's more inclusive because this doesn't match either a lot of people with really light blonde brows and it doesn't match people with darker hair than me. So it's not universal. It's only universal to a little bit of the population. So stop saying universal. Okay, sorry. Rant over. <laughs> but besides that, I don't really like the tip. It is too thick for me. I like a really fine tip for my brow pencils so I can kind of carve them out really nicely. And this one just isn't it. So I, can I get a nice brow? Yes. Does it take me longer than it should? Yes. Um, and I will continue using it up, but I will be glad when it's gone and won't repurchase it. Okay, the other makeup flop I have is this little mini Marcel BB Cream in Golden Glow. Now I got this in, I don't remember which, I'm sorry, one of my Ipsy or Birch Box boxes. Um, and I, compared to a lot of the other BB creams I've been using, I have been using the Cosmetic CC Cream a lot, the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream, um, and actually on my face, I have a Physician's Formula BB Cream on right now. And comparatively, this one I don't like. It's hard to blend, and it was splotchy for me, and it was not very full coverage. Now, I do get it's a BB Cream, but the way that it covered my face, I just wasn't happy with. Um, so this one is a flop for me. If anyone else got this in one of their subscription boxes, let me know what you think. I'm curious whether most people think that, or maybe it's just my skin that it doesn't get along with, but it's a flop for me, unfortunately. Okay, two more things, and they are in the beauty category, is this lipstick from Carmella Cosmetics. I love the packaging. Can you see that? This I reviewed in my Battle of the Boxes Itsy vs. Birch Box, and I loved it. Look how pretty this red is. It's absolutely stunning, and I loved the formula. I tend to eat off my lipstick I mean, accidentally. I don't, I don't do it on purpose, um, but I wore this out, and it stayed phenomenally. 
I also wore this the day I tested it. I wore it the entire rest of the day. I ate my dinner and it lasted. So I'm not familiar with Carmella Cosmetics, but I like the packaging. I like the formula. I like the color. This was a keeper for me and I'm excited to try more from this line. Okay, last but not least, if you follow my channel, I did just do a video review on this and that is the Lancome Taint Idol Ultra Wear Foundation. This is one of my ride or dies. I have been using this for years and I hadn't had it in the last couple years. I just hadn't repurchased it and I'd been trying all these other things. So I was like, okay, I've been doing more makeup. I've been researching more brands. Let's put it to the test. Let's see if I still really love it or if I just didn't know enough and thought I liked it. So I put it to the test in that video and lo and behold, I still loved it. I love the packaging. It's very bougie. It's that what is that type of glass called? Frosted. Frosted glass. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> See, I just needed a minute to think about it, but I figured it out. Um, so I really love it. It's stunning. It lasts well. It really does wear phenomenally on my face. It gives me full coverage and it lasts throughout the day. So if you want to hear more about it, take a look at that video. Um, but I had to include this in my March faves and flops because this is my probably favorite foundation ever. So I had to give it a shout out. All right, beauties, that is it for me today. That is all of my faves and flops for March. I already have some in mind for April that I have been using the last few days that I have to keep using to see if I continue liking and they will probably make it into my April video. I am getting so close to a thousand subscribers. So thank you all for supporting my channel. It means the world to me. If you haven't yet hit that subscribe button, please do so. It'll help me get me to that goal. And of course, I love you. I'll see you next time. Bye.